Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. I'm Marty Levinson, and you're watching Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to Northtown News. Hi, Marty. I'm the real Marty Levinson. Keep on cutting. In closing, I want to say, hi, I'm Marty Levinson. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. Hi, I'm Marty Levinson, and welcome to the Northtown News Magazine. For the identity of the real Marty Levinson, stay tuned to the Northtown News Magazine. Good. Hey there, I am really Marty Levinson. Don't let anybody fool you. Welcome to the Northtown News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Avi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Avi Myers, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine, a pr presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. Dial us up on the web at www.ntnm.org. Community policing, we're real big on that, caps24.org. Um, all the community policing meetings in the neighborhoods throughout Chicagoland. Well, I don't know about throughout Chicagoland, but in the 24th district, which is West Rogers Park, Rogers Park, a bit of Edgewater, uh, he have changed. All the community policing meetings now are on Thursdays. The West Rogers Park, which is the 10th sector, meets on the second Thursdays. The 30th sector meets on the third Thursdays, and the 20th sector meets on the fourth Thursdays. In West Rogers Park, 2411, which is Pratt to Howard, Kezita Ridge, meets at 5 o'clock. 2412, which I cheer, which is Devon to Pratt, Kezita Ridge, meets at 6 o'clock. And 2413, which is Devon to, Devon to Peterson, Kezita Ridge, meets at 7 o'clock. Go to caps24.org to see the location of your various meetings. Um, the new commissioner is talking about community policing um, moving forward. That's going to be great. Uh, matter of fact, check out when we, we have um, Deputy Chief Bruce Ratner here, and we hope to get the new superintendent, Commissioner Gordon, whatever his name is, um, McCreary, <laughs> on the show at one of these points. Uh, we have probably the single most important social event of this or any other century um, in this neighborhood coming up on Monday, July 11th at Thillen Stadium. And here to tell you about it is the Executive Director of the Westridge Chamber of Commerce, Amy Zander. Amy, how you doing? Hi, Howard. Um, so, Tournament of Heroes softball game? Yes, sixth annual. Can you believe it? Six years. I can't believe that we've done it this many times. But, I think that's uh, great. Yeah, it is great. We keep doing it every year. It's really become the nice outing for the community that everybody can look forward to all summer long. And, um, we moved it back a couple weeks this year to move into July, um, hoping that more people are, you know, done with school and, you know, back from their summer vacations and, you know, ready to, to come out and support the local police and fire departments. We're, we're really excited about it. So basically, this is the police department, the 24th district fields a team against the fire department. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, um, excuse me. Now, on uh, the first five years, I think the fire department's won four times and the police once. They have, yeah. The fire department actually has a, a team. They play in a league and they practice all the time. And uh, our police department, I think, kind of throws their team together a couple weeks before the event. So, um, you know, we wish them the best of luck and, you know, hope that the, the police can uh, make a good showing this year. But, uh, yeah, most of the time the, the fire department tends to win. And I hate to say it, the only time the police won was the one year I couldn't be there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was the one year you weren't there. So it, it's it's interesting, but, uh, you know, it's still fun. and Everybody brings their families out, and, you know, the police department in 24 does such a great job of bringing out all the police come out and get a nice, you know, chance to stop in and say hello, and, you know, it really just makes it fun for everybody. Yeah, as if the number of the police who were not on duty at that time will, uh, will be at the game, so will their families. Yes. And uh, there's a ton of people in the crowd. Uh, now, there's all kinds of interesting stuff going on during the game also. There is. Um, we're going to have uh, Music House, one of our local businesses, is going to provide their rock bands. They have um, 
a group of, of kids that play in a rock band and they lead us off in the beginning with, with some pre-game entertainment. Uh, the Misericordia Heartzingers are going to be out there again doing the Pledge of Allegiance and uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game. It's directed by Bob Rowenbar. Yes. Uh, we also have the Performing Arts Limited, um, another business in the area over on Tui. They're going to be doing um, a couple of dance routines for us. Um, actually fitting with the, the new gambling, they're going to be doing a Viva Las Vegas themed <laughs> uh, dance routine. So kind of fitting with the Chicago gambling. Um, so that's all going to be going on during the game. We have a couple of, you know, kids, uh, kids games that will go on in between innings. Um, we have sponsors that come out and do um, oh, yeah, free no, massages. Oh, yeah, like running the bases running the and bases. musical bases and exactly. stuff. Exactly. Yeah, all sorts of fun games. And then, you know, our sponsors, again, will be out there to do, uh, we have Saganish Wellness coming with free mis chair massages, um, which is kind of nice. You're feeling a little tense. You can have a, get a little quick massage while you're there. Um, and a bunch of other, you know, just great uh, people are going to be out there. Lots of fun. Oh, that sounds cool. So um, anyway, um, now you, we've got some, unfortunately, people like Rose and um, uh, the, the lady from the Y. Jill. Jill, Jill. Grimshaw, right. Uh, they're not around, so are you getting, uh, you've got new people in place now? Or? Um, we do have new people. Um, Jill actually um, is over at the um, Irving Park YMCA now. So um, we actually have a new representative from the High Ridge Y that's on our board, um, Jennifer, who is one of the personal trainers over at the Y. She's actually replacing Jill um, on our board. Uh, the Y themselves kind of restructured a little bit, so um, they haven't exactly put a new executive director in place over at High Ridge, but they've kind of restructured a little bit. Um, Rose is still really involved in the neighborhood. She just, you know, retired, cool. but couldn't couldn't give us up, I guess. So oh, Rose I'm is still so coming out. You know, she's still going to be involved with the baseball game, and she's also really involved with the neighborhood and the chamber still. So her husband's going to be uh, the official scorer again. Yeah, Tony will be out here. Tony actually is from from another library. Hi, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> He's over from the Austin Irving branch of the uh, Chicago Public Library, and he'll be out there uh, keeping score for us. He's our official scorekeeper. Yeah, I work with I. I um... You get to sit with them every year. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, you know, Tony. Good guy. Um, yeah, so he'll be out there again. We're really fortunate that, you know, they've been so great and um, continuing to support our neighborhood, even though, you know, she's moved on from her position over here at the library. No, I think that's absolutely great. And, uh, no, it's a really fun time. And uh, what time do the gates open? Gates are going to open at 6 o'clock. Um, right through the main gate over at Devon and uh, Kedzie and people can park in the back lot and you got to walk around the front to the front gate. Um, six o'clock, the game should start around 6.30. Um, play seven innings this year and we're really looking forward to it. The teams are, are pumped up and it's really a, a good time. Yeah, one, one rule that I'm not crazy about but I understand why because there's only so many balls you can use as the second homer each inning is an out. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, those guys are really good at what they do, and, you know, the river's right there, and we've lost a, you know, lost a few going over there hitting home runs, and, you know, we don't want it to really be a complete, you know, washout, I guess, uh, with one team or the other, so <laughs> we have to kind of keep a limit there. Some of those guys are really good. Yeah, they definitely are. Um, anyway, uh, we still got a couple of minutes, so let's talk about now, you, you've got uh, regular stuff going on all the time. We do. Um, the Chamber has monthly events going on. Um, in July, we actually have a networking event. Um, because it's summertime and we know people are on vacation, and especially our Devon business owners are really busy in the summertime with people from out of town and tourists that come through Devon. Um, we're just having a networking event on July 20th um, over at the Moose Grill, which is a new business in the neighborhood um, over on uh, California and Tui. So that's uh, July 20th. It's a Wednesday night from 5.30 till 7. People can drop in over there and meet the new owners of the restaurant and meet other chamber members and, you know, residents are welcome to come, whomever. By the way, I, I recommend the sauté bowlingkel au jus. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's an adorable place. It really, it really is a cute restaurant. And uh, we're happy to have them in the neighborhood. Um, so that's what we're doing in July. And then, um, you know, summertime, unfortunately, again, it's kind of a slow time for us, but we'll have a, a membership luncheon in September. Um, we're also working on a, a tour that's gonna be coming through town. There's a conference in town uh, for economic development. We're gonna be working on a tour for them, um, all the attendees that are coming to town to talk about how to uh, market an ethnic neighborhood. Uh, that's in October, October 6th, I believe. Um, all sorts of good things going on. We're, you oh, know, are you we're doing something busy. with the Jewish B2B network? We also? are, actually. That's in September, too. Thanks for reminding me. Um, sure. We are partnering up with um, the Jewish B2B, and we're doing a breakfast event over at um, uh, Devon Fish and Pizza. And it's going to be in the morning. Uh, we're not going to be eating fish or pizza in the morning. But uh, <laughs> having breakfast over there, um, we're going to have a speaker from Office Depot who's going to be there. Um, we do a rewards program with Office Depot. So we're going to have a speaker um, from there coming to sign people up if they're interested in getting discounts for their business and, 
you know, checking out Devon Fish and Pizza, and it's a nice way to kind of intermarket between our members and the Jewish B2B folks who kind of come from all over the place, not just in Westridge. Yeah, I really wouldn't want a trout or anchovy pizza myself no, anyway. No, <laughs> not in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> not in the afternoon or evening either. <laughs> That's another story. Anyway, at this point, I want to thank you very much, Amy Zander. Thanks, Abby. Um, Executive Director of the Westridge uh, Chamber of Commerce. The big softball game. And by the way, that's the one time a year you can get to hear me announce. Um, anyway, uh, that's Monday, July 11th. Gates open at? 6 o'clock. And the game starts at 6.30. And um, hey, if you're looking for a policeman, they'll be there. So will the fire department <laughs> also. So anyway, um, thanks so much. And it's thanks for joining us, Amy, and good luck with the event. Thank you.